Now is the time for angry joy. It might strike you as paradoxical, but it's far from an oxymoron. When I was younger, I thought I had to be angry or joyful. But I've learned these can be complementary convictions. It's the only way to be faithful to all sides of myself. How can I be a person of faith and not be angry at the den of thieves parading as our leaders? How can I be a person of faith and not weep tears of joy for the family I found in true believers? How can I be black in this nation and not be in a constant rage? How can I belong to the inventors of hip hop, soul food, and a stanky leg and not have a smile on my face? But if you expect me to always have a smile on my face, there's no way I can know joy. Because when I show joy, it ain't always nice. Sometimes my joy looks like a fist in the sky, screaming at the top of my lungs into a mic, uppercutting injustice with poetry, unafraid to release righteous anger. Joy comes from living in the will of God. Sometimes anger is the godliest response to reality. Sometimes God wills us to be angry. So in a time like this, joy can only be found in anger. Crying peace, peace when there is no peace will only bring wrath, not unity. To hell with peace without justice. That ain't the joy of God. True joy stares evil in the eye. I have the most joy on the front lines of a freedom fight. Working for kingdom come on this side of eternity as it is in heaven, sharpening my discernment, learning when to turn tables in sacred places and when to turn water into Pinot Noir. Messiah got that angry joy. It ain't either or. In this broken and beautiful world, we in constant war. But how can we be in constant war without hearts getting hard and our arms getting limp? Obedience. Joy comes from living in the will of God. When this world is unjust, God wills us to be pissed off with a pure heart. Be angry, but do not sin. In this freedom fight, the joy of the Lord is your strength.